السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. Today I received a, a very nice question is asking about uh, variation orders and how we can deal with variation orders in terms of extension of time. So now you received a new variation order adding a new scope of work to your project. Now what you should do as a planning engineer. First of all, you need to deal with the variation order as a new small project. You need to find the engineering procedures like shop drawing submittals, shop drawing approvals, material submittals, material approvals, material procurement, delivery to the site. Then if you have any authorities approvals and then the installation of the uh, uh, of the materials or the execution of the works then if there is any dependencies between the new scope of work and the original scope of work so let's see you received a new variation order asking you mr contractor we would like to change the flooring from porcelain to marble Okay, so in that case, you need to find the pattern of the marble, submit the uh, shop drawings for approval, submit the material for approval, then procure the marble, deliver it to the site, and start the installation. Okay, why this could be uh, uh, involved with an extension of time, and what is the case is there is no extension of time. Usually, if it is issued, this variation order, if it is issued at the beginning of the project, then you have sufficient time to do all your engineering and uh, deliver the material to the site and start the installation. So you have no issues at all. But if the client issued this variation order to you in a late stage of the project, where you already had the approved shop drawings and the approved materials and you need to redo all of these works, then it might uh, involve an extension of time. So in that case or in this scenario, it is all about the timing. So what you need to do, you will do this small project starting from the variation order date you received as I said, uh, procuring the material, approving the shop drawings, delivering the material, starting the installation, and then you will import this small project into your original baseline and link the successor and predecessor activities. And you will see, if the completion date of the project was impacted, it means moved, you have to claim for an extension of time. If your project completion date was not impacted, it means there are some floats, you can use them, and you are not entitled for an extension of time. So the variation order, you need to consider the timing, because usually when the variation order is issued at the beginning of the project, there is no issue at all. But the most common case that during the execution, while everyone is busy doing the construction and so on, the client start firing variation orders. And this is most critical one, because you need to study it immediately and advise the client, Mr. Client, if you insist on this variation order, it will cost you this amount of money and it will cost you additional amount of time. 